Hey y'all, T Ham 141 here. And as some of you know, my Briggs and Stratton, after five years of perfect service to me, and then I don't know how long uh, my son in law had it before then, he owns an excavating company. The actual generator part died. The engine is still good, but the generator that provides the power died. Okay? Big black smoke all that stuff today we are gonna fix that the easy way stick around here we go I got a brand new handy dandy predator 9,000 watt peak 7,250 watt running it should run everything in our house hey girl we're going to be unpackaging this bad boy today and boy it was heavy the other day uh, I'm gonna try to get this out without killing myself or breaking it now it's funny because this says 13 hours of runtime but it also says that it has a larger gas tank I don't know so the very first thing we find is the destructions high altitude kit that's nice to have I guess okay let's see here what she says about unpacking set up precautions operating precautions go through the six pages of be careful because we don't want to get sued and you run into components and controls She's shiny. She's shiny, people. Silica packets. I love silica packets. I put them in my gun safe. Ooh. Tools. She is pretty. 240 volt. 120. Then we got these. Oh, this is nice. I like this. By the way, guys, just so as you know, the battery was an extra 40 bucks. And the wheel kit is an extra 40 bucks, or $45, I believe. You know, that's, that's just the cost of life nowadays. You want an engine with that generator? You gotta pay extra. This is used to start and stop the engine. On, off. Okay. AC receptacles, we got two GFCI, three prong duplex, three prong twist lock, circuit breakers on each thing, 12 volt DC receptacle, plug in your cigarette lighter right there to run, I don't know, lights or whatever, and a grounding terminal. Oh! Have the unit grounded by a qualified electrician. Well, I wired my house. I think I qualify. Run 15 to 20 minutes every three months. Add fuel stabilizer. Clean the air filter regularly or, or it voids the warranty. This is the fill line. That's where you want it to fill on the dipstick. Okay. You undo the dipstick and wipe it off with a clean lint-free rag. Reinsert the dipstick without threading it in and remove it to check the level. The oil level should be up to the level as shown. I just showed you. All right. Now, I use this can. I've been using this can for this, forever. So, now I know this is not level. So, I'm going to go get a level so I can level it. Okay, just like that, she's all leveled up. Okay. Oh, I see the oil there. Okay. Let's 
set it on there do not screw it and it says it's up to where it needs to be now once I start this it's going to lubricate the inside so that's going to drain some of the oil out of the basin but we've got it up to the point where the instructions say to do it now I am going to hook up the battery which they actually have back here bolt in place the hardware included with the generator attach the positive cable connector from the engine to the positive terminal on the battery okay now I got to find the negative thing which should be and is right here and lather rinse repeat slide that little bugger in there put the bolt on there get that to start on that bolt or on that nut got a little rubber thingy I'm messing my world up boy there okay so we've hooked up the battery all right I'm going to move it into place before I fill it with gas because well I'm lazy and I don't want to lift a bunch of gas hold tight okay gas is on choke is on push it on and There is that. Let's go in and see how it's doing in the house. If that's going to charge it. If we got any power coming through. Yeah, I just heard it. All right, this is my mess room. This is we we are charging the battery. It says, all right, that's looking good. Do not forget that there is a break-in period for all engines, small engines, large engines. The instruction manual will tell me to run it for 3,000 hours, 2,000 hours. Sometimes it's as few as 600 hours. Uh, and then change the oil. What this does is, during manufacturing, if there are any burrs or metal pieces or dust of, of the fabrication in there, you'll be emptying that out of your oil. So don't forget to look in your instructions and find out how long that is. In fact, I'll go ahead and I will put the recommended break-in time before you change the oil for the first time right here. Alright y'all, there you have it. We just set up our new Predator. 9,000 watt generator with electric start so Wendy can handle it. Guys, if you got any value whatsoever out of this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Click on one of the videos here. Keep watching. YouTube loves that and it'll help me out. Subscribe and you can help me pay for this generator. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. We'll talk to you later. Y'all have a great day and God bless you.